Yo, what's up? I'm playing the very talented uh, Hans Niemann. He's going to be a tough blitz player. Uh, hopefully I beat him. Because <laughs> I'm... He's going to be at some camp I'm teaching soon, so it's always bad when, when students beat you. So I'll try to avoid that. But he's, you know, a 2300 USCF. Strong player. Let's see. Well, I'll play this line. What the heck? Mm, okay. Okay. So we're going to just play the standard kind of uh, Bogo Indian setup with uh, where we try to control these dark squares here. Uh, I'm going to castle and I'm going to go a5 and like knight a6 and, and stuff like that. What's going on here? He's got a slightly improved version because his queen's in d2. I was supposed to take advantage of it somehow uh, the way the opening went but I like a3 and move 6 is not the most ideal, but I've kind of, I've made it good for him because I, a3 is useful when I do this a5 move. I, I don't know, I definitely did something slightly off, but my position should still be fine. I, I play these positions pretty decently. Have a lot of experience in them when you have this knight on c5. Alright, let me think. This looks good, at least I'm threatening knight b3. Maybe he'll blunder. Uh, you know, honestly, a4 looks good. I'll just do it. If knight d3, uh, knight, knight b3, this, you know what, let's go knight b3 to d4, maybe? Alright, and now, bishop h3 is interesting, but his bishop's bad, so it just looks good, but it's not really good. Let maybe go bishop g4. I'm just enticing f3, make some weakness. Alright, I don't know if that was good. Because he can do this, which is probably a smart idea for him. Yeah, that was stupid. Let me think. Maybe rook f to e8. I would like my knight on d7 right now, which I just, I just put something else in the stupid square. Maybe c5. Just really bolster the d4 knight. If he takes an e5, I take with a pawn. I try to maneuver my knight to d6. So, what what happens here? He's thinking at least. Oh, he took. I kind of like that. Oh, and well, queen g5, maybe? And then I have knight d5, at least. So what is he going to do? Uh, my next moves are going to be knight e8, for sure. Okay, so knight takes d5. I take everything. He takes an e5. I think it's pretty nice for me. And then I go bishop e6. Just make sure I'm not blundering anything. Alright, I don't think I am. So he might take my queen and take on e5. Uh, it's most likely what he's going to do. I'm going to go bishop e6 with the simple... Uh, bishop e6, so then play knight d5. And, you know, it's kind of annoying. Because we, we end up both having good knights. I'll probably play f6. Right, maybe I should go rook c... Uh, I'm sorry, not f6, right? Uh, knight c... Ah, I'll just do this, whatever. Again, his position seems fine, though. I have to worry about the... c5 pawn. I can't figure out what I should do. Knight a5 or something else. Maybe b6. No, I'll take it. It does look fine for him. Maybe knight b3. Ugh. Alright, I just like my knight on d4. But, like, knight a5 is annoying, knight d2 is annoying. I have, I still have annoying ideas. My other knight can come to d4. But I just don't like this knight on d5. But knight a5 is strong in this move, I think. I think it's very troubling. Alright, I'm just gonna do it. 
I don't know. Sometimes he's going to make a move quickly. Rook e4, knight d2. Rook f4 looks most logical. Oh, then rook f4. And then I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> oh, I have a stupid, um, stupid alarm bell just went off. All right. Apologize for that noise. So I'm way up on time now, at least. If rook f4, g5 actually is probably not good. <laughs> Let me think. Rook d8? Bishop c4 also looks good somehow. Bishop c4, knight a8, rook a8 is interesting. Or bishop d3. Hmm, bishop c4, knight a8, rook a8, I'm sorry, bishop d3, rook f3, it's kind of annoying. I kind of want, I'm going to do it though, uh, just because I, I feel like he was going to get a lot of annoying play if I didn't do this. I'm going to take this one, I don't know if it's right. But I think of rook f3, knight d4, so he has to be a little careful. Uh, knight d4, and then, okay, I'm just going to do this, take the material. Uh, my idea is of rook e3, knight c2. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't even care about the material. Mm, or I'll take it. Now what? Oh, I'm so slow. So slow and stupid. I'm gonna be greedy and go for. All right. Hold on to my pawn. This type of move usually is bad. I I just missed my a pawns under attack. I'm such an idiot. All right. Well, now I can defend them both in one move. So, uh, but it was very stupid. I'm gonna get some space for my kid. No, you know what? Kick the stupid thing out doesn't really kick it out, because he doesn't have to move it. It sucks when you get in the time scramble with the kids, because um, obviously they're good at stuff like this. I'm going to go back, actually. They're good at like the fast, fast moves. E6 looks really annoying. But I don't really know what to do. I think... Oh, that's surprising. All right. I'm gonna put my bishop on d5 and and my knight on c4 maybe. I think he slightly played this inaccurately. <laughs> uh, I think. I'm just gonna defend the pawn, man. I'm scared. Why didn't I see that? Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm just like the dumbest person in the world. All right. I don't even know what to say, man. Let's make a check. Let's make another check. Keep making checks and hoping for some good thing to happen. I don't know. Hopefully it's not mate somewhere. Okay. So far I'm not getting checkmated. So that's good. I'll just do this, gain some tempo. I have to look, do I have a mate anywhere? I don't know, I don't see one, so I'm just going to do this. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm spending too much time, obviously, to make a check and hope for something good. this. I have 12 seconds still. With the increment, that's not bad. Um, you know what? Let's just take the stupid pawn.
<laughs> I'm so bad. Oh my god. Kill me now. Um whatever. How did I do that? How did I accomplish the losing of my of my rook? Not my best not my best day. I'm gonna keep trying though. I'm gonna keep trying to, you know, not <laughs> so bad. Um, I'm not resigning for some reason. I can't quite explain why. I, it, it would be safe to resign here. Oh, I get the ape on maybe if he, if he messes up. Jeez, man. Oh, I got one pawn. Oh, I got another pawn. So now he has to win the very famous rook and the rook and knight versus king and game. I just have to find a way to fork his king and rook, that's all. Shouldn't be too difficult. Ah, it's screwed it up. Knight d4. Alright, now I resign. <sighs> not good, not good. I'll give him a GG. <laughs> uh, ridiculous. It's rook a2. Um, I mean, the game was a tough game, of course. That was not good. I like that he thinks he got really lucky. I mean, he didn't really get lucky. Because it's not like I was losing. It, oh, sorry, you're, he's chatting. I, you know, I know you guys can't see the chat. Where did things go wrong for me? You know, this queen g5, I mean, maybe I shouldn't take on d5. I mean, what, what about just... Like, like rook e8, you know, just play the safe, calm move, and I have knight on d4. Yeah, I think I think knight takes d5 is just not, not a good move. I, I, I somehow didn't realize how strong his knight on d5 was going to be. Um, rook f to e8 and just kind of chill, and I have a nice a nice position. I think because of the knight on d4, it's very hard for him to come up with active play. But alright, I didn't do it. I instead played like an idiot. And after... Yeah, I mean, it's just like, it's a lot tougher now, the whole position. How many games are left? Oh well, anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to win the next game, I promise. Bye-bye.